All right, today we're gonna go over the engine brake, commonly referred to as the Jake brake because of the company that makes it. Technically, it's called an engine brake because it helps you stop by taking the power of the engine, the compression cycle, and dumps it out the exhaust so you don't have the momentum of the engine still pulling you along as you're trying to stop. And for some of the guys and girls, uh, guys and ladies that are starting out trucking, it could be a little intimidating. You got this big loud thing going off, and if you're not don't really know how to use it, it could be a little bit of a problem. But if once you learn how to use it, it's kind of hard to drive a truck that doesn't have it. You kind of miss it. So as we said before, it's used to help stop the truck. You probably heard it before. You had a you know, maybe you're next to a heavy truck and. All of a sudden, as they're stopping, you hear a real loud noise coming out the exhaust, and that's what it is. The driver's using the jake brake or the engine brake to help stop the vehicle. Very crucial, especially when you have weight on the truck. It really helps your, your braking power, helps keep your brakes cooler, and when used properly, it's really a, really a big help to you, the driver. So we're just going to go over some of the basics of it, and then maybe we'll get a video going of driving with it. But for now, we're just going to take a look here. We got a 2003 International with a 10 speed in it. Manual transmission, of course. Similar to one of the other trucks I had in one of my other videos. And the engine brake on vehicles, heavy trucks like this, is operated simply by, by a switch. And you can see that switch right here. You can see here that you have a switch here. It's so an engine brake on, off. And then you have low, which is one two medium and three high you know depending on how much braking power you want one is a little bit three is a lot of bit <laughs> so depending on what situation you're in you might want to use one two or three but we'll go over that when we drive but basically when when you put on this switch there's a valve on the cylinder head that's opened and when you let off the throttle okay so you got your throttle down here you got on the throttle like this, as soon as you let off, the engine brake's going to come on. And that's where you're going to hear that, <clears throat> that loud sound, and that's, what's gonna, that's when you're going to start to hear the compression cycle of the engine start to go out the exhaust. Now, again, as soon as you let off the throttle, the engine brake is going to come on. So I'm just going to start the truck real quick so you can just hear it, and then maybe a little while we'll get to uh, go on the road with it. All right, let's start this thing up. All right, we're running. Okay. Now, I'm letting my foot off the clutch, and I'm off the throttle, and I'm at idle. Now, you notice I have the engine brake on, but you don't hear it. Here's the sound of it. You hear that sound? That's the sound of the engine brake. These newer trucks, I believe after 1999 model year, they have a safety cutoff where below a thousand RPMs, it cuts off. So watch when you look the throttle. You hear a thousand, it, it cut off. On the older trucks, if you were to leave the engine brake on, let's say you were neutral or whatever, and you let off the throttle, it would go, it would stay on. Remember, you're losing the power cycle of the engine, so you would actually stall out. But now they don't do that. Now they cut off at 1,000 RPM. Remember, the engine brake is to help stop the vehicle, so when you let off the throttle, it's gonna kick on. And of course, you could use it in conjunction with the brake. Now, you can sh downshift with the engine brake on. You can also upshift with it on. We'll go over that in the other video. But you can downshift with the engine brake on. Because let's say you're stopping and the, and the gears you're moving, you're moving slower and slower and slower, and you can catch another lower gear. It's designed so you can shift with the engine brake on. I just want to show you why that's possible. Okay, down below here you got your clutch, right? Do you see this switch up here? This switch, when you push on the clutch, disengages or shuts off the engine brake just in the free play of the clutch. You don't have to push it so the throwout bearing releases. Just enough. See the switch? While the RPMs are up, if I'm off the throttle and I, I'm like this, it'll, it'll turn off the engine brake so I could do my double clutch to shift. Because remember, if you have your foot off the clutch, see that? But now I'm on the clutch, see how it cut out? Just that little switch helps it cut out so you can catch some gears. But that's how that works. 
So in the next video, we'll go over that. So again, you just want to shut off the engine brake, just shut it off. See, now it's not on. Remember, the engine brake only comes on when this switch is on. Okay, remember we have a safety on these newer trucks, so it's not gonna kick on at idle. Okay, so let's say you're going down the road, you're holding speed, right? Engine brake is on, let out the throttle, it kicks in. And you can hear that shut off at the safety. Now the RPMs drop very quick when the engine brake is on because you're taking the power cycle of the engine and just dumping it out the exhaust. Now, a couple of things to note. You, you probably hear in the CDL manual or training that you're not supposed to use this in inclement weather because it could cause the rear wheels to lock up skid or cause the ABS to kick on, whatever. You have to be the judge of that. Many drivers use it in the rain, sometimes in the snow, but you gotta just be careful, especially if you're light. She can really get a little swirly on you or cause a problem. Yeah, you gotta use your discretion. So just a quick review. Engine brake helps stop the truck. All right, it does not work in conjunction. It has nothing to do with the brake pedal itself. That's a separate system. And it takes the power cycle of the engine and puts it out the exhaust. That's why you hear all that noise. So it helps take the momentum of the engine and stop, stop having that momentum pull you as you're trying to stop. It really does work. So what we're gonna do in our next video is we're gonna put it into practice. We're gonna use it. We're gonna look at a couple of different things. We're gonna look at downshifting with the engine brake on with using the double clutch. We're gonna look at downshifting without using the clutch and having the engine brake on. And we're also gonna take a brief look at upshifting with the engine brake on. You probably have heard guys going down the road and they're going up through the gears and they're using the engine brake to do that to go up, the, up through those gears and I'll explain why they do it and why you don't have to in, in certain situations and you be the judge on what you want to do. But basically that's really it. So, engine brake on. Let's give her a rev. RPMs are up, right? See that? Now I let off the throttle. Boom. Then it kicks in. Now let's go over that clutch switch. Remember that clutch switch I was talking to you about? Okay. So let's say I'm in gear, right? See? It won't kick on. But when I let off, now I put it on. See, my, my foot's on the clutch just enough, just in the free play, to keep the engine brake from coming on so I can double clutch it, do a downshift, and then come off, and then I'll have the engine brake again. That's basically it. That's, that's the, the basics of the engine brake. And then, uh, I think it's pretty much time to put it into action, so we'll look at that in our next video. But again, the engine brake is there to help you, the driver, and once you get used to it and you get comfortable with it, it's kind of hard to drive without it. So be blessed, tune in, we'll have another one real soon.